Plants are amazing. They don't move around like us, but they are living things. Like all living things, plants need to reproduce. This means making more of themselves. Plant reproduction is important for their survival. Without reproduction, plants would disappear. No more beautiful flowers or yummy fruits. That's why understanding how plants reproduce is so cool. Plants have two main ways to reproduce, asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction needs only one parent plant. Sexual reproduction needs two parents. Both ways are important in the plant world. Let's learn more. In asexual reproduction, a plant can create new plants all by itself. It's like making a copy. One way plants do this is called vegetative propagation. Another way is by making spores. It's like magic, but it's science. Section four, vegetative propagation, growing from parts. Many plants use vegetative propagation. This means new plants grow from parts of the parent plant. For example, potatoes have eyes that sprout into new plants. Strawberry plants send out runners that root and form new plants. Pretty neat, right? Section five, spore formation tiny specks of life. Some plants, like ferns and mosses, reproduce using spores. Spores are like tiny specks of life. They are dispersed by the wind. If a spore lands in a suitable place, it can grow into a new plant. Spores are incredibly small, but they have the potential to create new life. Amazing! Section 6, Sexual Reproduction, A Flowery Tale. Many plants reproduce sexually. This involves flowers. Flowers are important for making seeds, Seeds can grow into new plants. Let's learn more about the fascinating process of sexual reproduction in plants.